everyone welcome back to my channel I just got off work at Trader Joe's I worked this morning at 530 and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a Trader Joe's haul just right after work so I'm a little tired I just finished shopping I got off work and I shopped and I cannot wait to show you guys everything that I got um, lots of good stuff a couple new things uh, some repeats from my last haul if you guys have not seen my first Trader Joe's haul. Um, I will put the link in the description below and at the end of this video I will link it. This is installment two of the Trader Joe's hauls by an employee. So I hope you guys like this video and if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot to know if you guys are loving these videos, if you wanna see more of them and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I will see you guys back at the house and I will show you everything that I purchased. I am back at the house. I just laid everything out that I purchased at Trader Joe's and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just a panned view of everything that I got so you have an idea of how much food I bought. And I'm just going to say that I know I mentioned it already but <clears throat> there will be a couple repeats that you've seen in the last video. And it's only because this is real life and this is the stuff that we get every day. So first of all, I got some shells and white cheddar mac and cheese. Benson likes this. It's easy to make and it lasts forever in your pantry. Not forever, but you get the idea. If it's like an emergency day or it's some day that I want something easy, I have this in the pantry. It makes, it, makes my life much easier. I also got this amazing sliced French brioche bread. This is the best bread, in my opinion, that we sell. It comes in frozen and we just leave it out on the shelf and it thaws out. So if you guys decide to get this bread, you can always refreeze it. It's it's really stable in the freezer and it um, defrosts perfectly. It's super soft. It's delicious. I'm going to make um, egg salad sandwiches with this bread because it just in my opinion, goes well, really well together. I also got this olive oil wheat wraps, tortilla, basically tortilla wraps, and I make healthier sandwiches out of these and quesadillas too for Benson sometimes. And I am trying this out. I have not got this yet. This is a semi-new product. It's our version of a soda. It's rhubarb and strawberry soda, and the reason I wanted to pick this up is because it only has 60 calories per can, and there's only, I think it says 13 grams of sugar, so it's not crazy for soda, and I've heard amazing things. Tons of people go through my line and purchase this, so I was like, I have to try this. It looks too good to pass up. I also got some uh, margarita mixer, because I thought Tim and I could maybe have a margarita this weekend. This is my favorite margarita mixer because it is super low calorie. It's only 45 calories and not very much sugar. And I just tend to add a little bit more lime to it and it's perfect. It makes a very light, not too sugary margarita, which I love. I also got my go-to salsa, which I mentioned in my previous uh, TJ's haul. Um, some olive oil potato chips. Also get these every time I go. This is a new item. It's uh, I have a Keurig so I use coffee pods and I have not tried this. It's called Electric Buzz. It's They're the little coffee K-cups and um, apparently this gets you like really jacked up. It's supposed to be high in caffeine so I thought I'd try it because I am a coffee addict and I thought this would be delicious to try. Um, just got Benson some more blueberry uh, bars. They're like the fig bars, fig newtons, but it's blueberry for flavor. He loves these. I bring them in his diaper bag all the time. They're super easy to travel with and they are great to tide him over before a big meal. I also got these savory thin crackers. These are a staple in my pantry. I always have these. They're so good. They're super crisp. They're rice crackers, so they're gluten free and um, they complement pretty much any type of cheese that you want to use. They're, they're the best. I also picked up this. This is new. I think this is an item for Easter. We haven't carried this before. They're called chocolate caramel yokies. They look like little eggs, like eggs, cracked eggs, 
And I guess in the center of the yellow part is the caramel. And they're so cute, really, really fun for Easter. Um, not healthy, but I wanted to show you guys them um, because they are new and they'll be in, at Trader Joe's for a very limited time. I got this too. This is our birthday cake bar. It's white chocolate. It has like little um, sprinkles throughout. It's so cute and so good. We have this every so often. I also got a lime just for the margaritas that I want to make. A red onion. Some blueberries. This is a great deal right now. This is a big tub of organic blueberries and they were only $6.99. So pick those up. Um, got my cucumbers for my salad. Got Benson some broccoli and cheddar cheese quiches. He loves these things. They're super easy to make and there's broccoli in them. So I give him those. My mac and cheese reduced guilt, which I buy almost every time I shop at Trader Joe's. This steel cut oatmeal is so good. It's frozen. It has two little, I'll show you guys what it looks like. I love these things. These are the easiest breakfast to make. It's super good and they're healthy. So like I said, they're frozen. They come like this. You just peel the plastic away, pop it in a um, bowl and microwave it and it's ready to go. I will add some raw honey to it and sometimes I'll put some fruit on top, but honestly it's delicious just the way it is. So if you guys need some easy meals that are um, healthy, go for this. It's the steel cut oatmeal and it is so good. I always have this in my freezer too. Also got hold the cones. If you guys don't know about these, they're like little mini ice cream cones and they're so good. Super low in calorie if you're kind of like on a diet but want something sweet. I think they're, um, they're there's two and a half servings per container and 260 calories, which is weird because they, the old box, this is a new box. Um, the old box I think said it, they were like 60 calories per cone. So I don't know. I'm not going to do the math, but you guys see they're pretty reasonable if we just stick to one, which is near impossible. So I'm not trying to fool you guys. I definitely have more <laughs> than one. Usually I got my always go to almond beverage, original unsweetened. Love this almond milk. I picked up a Southwestern chopped salad. This salad is so good. It comes with dressing. It has all the um, it has all the chopped lettuce inside of it, but then it has little packets of tortilla strips, some cheese, and I think they're uh, little pepitas in another bag. And then it has dressing as well. So it's it's an all in one salad. It makes a it's it's good enough for probably four people if you're having it as a side salad, but I like to eat this as a meal, so I usually have half of it and then I'll have the other half the next day. Really delicious. I also picked up these. These are um, the triple draft lattes. These are so good, you guys. If you like cold coffee, these come in the refrigerated section. Do not shake them. <laughs> I made that mistake and it says on there not to shake. Um, but there's frothed milk and three shots of cold pressed espresso. These things get you wired and they taste amazing. You would never know that they have so like three shots of espresso on them. Also got some organic broccoli florets. We just have these on hand always too. They're easy to just steam and add to any dinner that we're having. Got my husband some fully cooked uncured bacon. So it's already cooked. And so you can just put it in the microwave if you want. He likes to reheat it on a pan just to give it more of like the bacon-y, uh, I guess, flavor. I don't know. I don't eat meat, so I don't know. Um, some teeny tiny avocados. I like these. I think I showed you guys last time, but they're like smaller, so they're perfect for salads or sandwiches or whatever. Some tomatoes. And this is brand new, so I got it for you guys to see, but I also wanted to try it. It's the three cheese vegetable ravioli. It says it has cremini mushrooms, Swiss chard, and kale with ricotta, mozzarella, and Parmesan cheeses. This looks so good, and I'm really excited to try it. We also got a new um, marsala sauce, and that probably would be really good with this, but my husband despises mushrooms, so I didn't get it. Um, I also got this light string cheese. We always have this in our fridge as well. I 
get the light because in my opinion it tastes better than the full fat. I have nothing against full fat string cheese. I just prefer the taste of the light. I don't know why. My husband likes the light also better. Um, I got some already cooked hard boiled eggs and these are to make my sandwiches with. Um, this is, I think it's called Balella or by, yeah, Balella, B-A-L-E-L-A. -E and it's basically a little salad and it has chickpeas in it, tomatoes and black beans. This is super good. I like to have this either as a snack or sometimes I'll even eat it as a meal because it's, um, chickpeas have a lot of protein in it so it fills you up pretty good. And then this is new also. This is a vegetarian item. It is soy free for those of you that don't want to have too much soy in your diet. This is made with white bean and kale. They're little veggie slices and I thought, hey, I'll try this and see if it's good. Um, so I'll let you know if it is. My coworkers all said that they liked it, even the ones that aren't vegetarian, so we'll see. And then I got some borsin. This is the best cheese. I love this. Tim and I will have this sometimes just cheese and crackers for dinner. I know it's not healthy. I've already told you guys this is my real life and this is what we really eat. So Borson is great. I got this. I normally don't buy this, but um, I wanted to show you guys this because this is really an easy little, it's called the tapas, sam tapas sampler and it's all different Spanish cheeses. There's the um, Iberico. I'm sorry if I'm totally like botching this the names I apologize um, but I'm doing my best Cabra Alvino and the Manchego these actually are pre-sliced I don't know if you guys can tell but they're sliced in little triangles and you can just peel a triangle off and eat it as is or put it on a cracker super yummy to munch on and they're a little bit more firmer cheeses so it's a little it's a perfect snack if you want to throw some in your lunch and the fact that they're pre-sliced just makes it so easy, especially if you're having company over and you want to do like a cheese and crackers platter. I highly recommend this sampler because it's so good. I haven't heard anyone not like these cheeses. They're delicious. And then I got another chicken sausage breakfast burrito. Tim is obsessed with these. He tells me every time I go, just keep getting more. So I picked another one up for him. Got the amazing black bean and jack cheese burrito that is like I said a cult favorite everybody loves them they're so good really cheesy and then I also got this this is brand new it is a noodle bowl it has tofu in it I wanted to try it it's five bucks though so I don't know it better be real good for five dollars and it looks like this underneath but I just thought I'd try it because it's a new item we just got it yesterday so that and then last but not least, my favorite bars. These are the perfect bars. They are refrigerated and Trader Joe's sells the two flavors, the dark chocolate, the dark chocolate chip peanut butter one and the plain peanut butter one. The plain peanut butter tastes exactly like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It is so good. I can eat this as if it were a candy bar and it's super filling. Um, so sometimes I'll just have this as a meal. Um, but yeah. These are delicious. I recommend it to anyone that hasn't tried them. So here is the fin final look of everything I bought. And I spent a total of $110.62. But that was, again, that was before the discount. So the... I got a $12.23 discount, if you guys can see that. I don't know, it's not focusing, but $12.23 I saved, and it was $110.62 for me, so you guys can do the math. It was like $124 about. $124 total, which is not bad for how much food that I got, so... I hope you guys liked this Trader Joe's haul. I do not mind doing more hauls for Trader Joe's. Um, I work there, so it's pretty easy to pick up things and get new items. And, and in my other videos, too, that aren't specific to Trader Joe's hauls, I do have Trader Joe products in them all, a lot, often, and <laughs> stuff I'm eating and things like that. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. The more thumbs up I get, 
the more I know you guys want to see these kind of videos. So please keep liking and commenting and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.